Hi everyone, Mature Simmer here. Getting ready to go roll the south end of the field here. So, picking up the roller. And heading out to get that work done. So this is something, a uh, slightly different sequence than what I've done before. And the logic is simply, I've learned something between the last time I rolled the field and now. And so basically, at this point, when I plow, uh, it can potentially kick up stones, and that can create the need for rolling. So if I go ahead at this point, and I do remember that basically the rollers just operate, so they, there's no way to turn them off. But if I look at my map while that's opening up, A, you can see that this field needs rolling. Um, but what I'm looking for is, do I see any non-yellow stones? Because if I see orange or red, the roller won't deal with them. But my understanding is the roller will shove those stones back in the ground. What I'm going to be curious of over time is as I do that, do I get bigger and bigger stones every time I plow? Because obviously last time I picked this whole field, it took forever. Um, you know, and I do have a, lar a large group, or a lot more, what I would say, are uh, medium-sized stone deposits, but they're all yellow. So my intent now is to roll this, and then I'm assuming the stones will go away. But then the question is, when I roll in the future, or plow in the future, will they come back with a vengeance, basically? So I'm um, going to go ahead and do that. But I'm glad I can do this now, because I was worried that I might have to do it after I planted and you know not that I necessarily have any different or more time here but I do have some time and the hope is I can get this done because this is a pretty straightforward operation once I get going I'm gonna do the same thing I did with my plow if you saw the last episode just basically run a couple headland passes here that will give me more than enough distance to be able to then turn around I've already adjusted my working width for this implement in my GPS line so that's what we're seeing on the field there but I'm going to go ahead and because this is wider I'm going to have to actually go all the way out I'm going to have to go a lot further in the field you know basically get near the river where I didn't do that with the plow because it, it just frankly wasn't as wide but basically I think the plow might be like one side of this roller and that doesn't even then include the middle of the roller, so it's like I have two plow widths plus some, I think. I don't, again, remember the specific working width of this tool, but I do know, you know, I, I can clearly tell it's wider. How about that? So I don't know that it's wider, but intuitively I know it's wider. So everything is working as I would have expected at this point uh, with regards to the farm and so forth. I had fertilized early, so at this point when I plant, uh, the cedar I'm planting, or the planter I'm planning to use for that process does have um, fertilization capability. I believe it's liquid fert, which is good because then we'll have another use for for that product. Um, and 
you know, but then the hope would be that we will then basically have our second layer of um, fertilization done and will be fully fertilized once we plant. And again, I'm still holding out hope that when precision farming comes out in a few weeks that we'll shortly have it available here and we can then go to just one fertilization cycle and that sprayer then becomes more useful for um, weeds if necessary and if ultimately I somehow determine I, I don't need them you know it becomes something we can sell but I don't think that's going to be the case. So, yeah, for those who care um, for kind of completing the cycle, some several episodes ago I was talking about that the new year one, uh, season one, or the year one pass. Season, the year one season pass, that's where I'm getting myself confused, that the spring release had been made available, and I was like, oh, does it appear here? Um, silly me, I forgot, just like the class uh, piece that came with the pre-purchase of FS22, uh, you still have to enable the mod, and obviously FSN doesn't have those available here, but yes, it did appear uh, later. There was some problems on Steam for a few hours of people actually getting it, so that was part of the issue I was having, is I didn't actually have it available yet anywhere, but then later that afternoon I did see it as an option when I started up a new map in single player. It's just in multiplayer here on these servers, obviously, you're connecting to servers that have certain mods enabled and basically it requires a match for those. So that's why we weren't seeing it here. I was somehow in my brain not computing the fact that well they're just not going to give us it doesn't just magically appear and part of that is because I, I don't think I've ever actually used the vehicle that I got um, Alright, I'm just going to fold this a bit as I roll around because I don't want to hit this field inappropriately. And then we'll unfold again. You know, I'm less worried about things um, later, but as far as, you know, at the other end where I, I don't have a field that is plowed yet, but... Anyway, we'll get this going, we'll line up, and here we go. So, so I've got my process, um, and that's the one thing with the rollers, like, you can't pick them up again. If we look at the F1 menu, there's no, you can just fold, but there is no lifting of the tool. So, but... You know, I think this is, like I said, the probably three plow widths, if not more. So, I'm hoping this won't take us that long. The bigger question before I leave you is, are things gone? And they appear to be. It took a little while to update, but... So we, we have fertilization, which we obviously want. Um... But we've got a couple stones here, so let's just see what happens when the map updates. That one may be over to the side. So that's the other thing I'm going to need to verify is... Uh, you know, what I may find is that the medium stones don't get pushed in. It may just also be the small ones only. So I'll definitely keep an eye on that. But not a lot more to share with you. I mean, it's it's a pretty basic job. So I'm going to keep on doing it throughout the day as much as I can with the goal of getting it done. And similar to the plow episode, I'll just update you 
when I'm finished so that you realize, you know, it's done. And if something comes up that I feel worth mentioning, again, I'll, I'll certainly do that as well. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, our next job is finished. So we'll go get everything put away. And, you know, we'll take care of all the other stuff with regards to kind of repairing and all of that once we finish the northern end of the field after we move later into this year. It's not like it hurts anything to do it early, but it's just really a use of time that has got minimal value because, as you can see, the repair bar is not very far along. Uh, you know, we're definitely in good shape, but so we've got that field rolled and we've got that field plowed from before. So we are as ready as we can get. So just give me a moment. All right, so the last thing we're going to do is get our planter for corn. So as you can see, it does corn a few other things. Um, it also doesn't require cultivating in the future, perhaps, in some areas. So that is always a benefit. Good capacity, best working with we can find. A little under 250000 I did try to get it from a dealer. Um, there was one dealer that did the brand, Kinsey. I assume that's how we say it and they did not respond. They didn't have the cedar available just on the website. They had a grain cart by that manufacturer, so I was hoping they could help, but had not heard. So I think Sweet is out there planting. Looks like he's got the same piece of equipment we do, so he may be putting in something similar. Because, yeah, it's that blue planter. So he's off the server right now. He was actually on a little bit today while I was rolling. So we got to chat for a bit. So everything seems to be back in order with him, and he's able to play some farming simulator again. So good, good stuff. So I'll see you once I have the planter back at the farm. So I just wanted to pop in for a second here because I saw this plow and was wondering whose it was and then I realized it's a new color and I forgot to tell you guys that Anderson Family Farms is on so our new FM has finally been placed on the server. Alright so here we are staged and ready to go for tomorrow. You can see we got 2840 liters of liquid fertilizer capacity and 4,228 liters of corn, or seed. That in this case will be corn. So just take a look at this beautiful thing. Little planters and furrow wheels and so forth there. So yeah, the back tanks, unless things mistake me, the back tanks are where our seed are. And that tank there is where our liquid fur goes. So we should be all set. And I will see you next time.